Whether it's a lager or an ale Whether it's a stout, light, dark, or pale If you can brew it, Chad can review it It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews He's not quite an amateur, not quite a connoisseur But regardless of the brewer, he's got taste in beer for sure You can tell just by his gut, this guy is a bona fide beer knife So whether it's a porter or an IPA Whether it's from Europe or the USA Oh, I didn't see you there. I got caught up reading my 2008 annual Libertarian Party report. But we can talk about that another time. I'm doing a, re a beer that Jay, Norm, and uh, Dennis have all done in the last week or two. This is a Paul Anner Salvatore Doppelbach. Although in German it's do Doppelbach. Um, it's supposed to be pretty good from what I hear. It's the original double so, I don't really know a lot about this one, and I'm not going to pretend to know, so I'm just going to judge it on its own, you know? It's a really potent beer, though. This is 7.9% ABV. I don't really like uh, super strong beers like that. It's got a nice body. It's kind of like a really dark amber color, like a kind of like an orange burnt umber. Not much of a head on there, but <clears throat> and I I thought I poured it fairly rough, but um, I don't think Jay and Dennis got much of a head on theirs either. Uh, it's a uh, off white. It's real. It's fizzy. It's it's fizzling out already. It's a very uh, strongly flavored beard. I mean, I can smell the al It kind of smells like, um, you know, just, it kind of smells just like regular beer. It has almost a skunky scent to it. And this is, I don't know, that's a very odd colored bottle. It's not brown, it's not green. It's somewhere between. I'm gonna pull it, I don't know it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Well, just from the first sip alone, I know it's better than the Sam Adams. First thing I noticed, it's kind of a caramel taste. It's very sweet. It's got kind of like a butterscotch quality going on. I'm starting to taste the alcohol now. Yeah, just from the second swig. Maybe I'm just like really sensitive to potent beers. Um, it kind of, it definitely war warms as it goes down. I wouldn't say it burns. I mean, it's not like... You know, it's not like drinking Jack Daniels straight up. But there definitely is a warming effect. There's a little bit of toffee notes in there. Um, overall, it's actually... The, the, the palate is, like, quite mild. It's not, um... It's not just bursting with taste. It's, it's a very subtle flavor. It's, it's quite rich. But, uh, and it's also, uh, pretty sweet. Dennis said it right. It, this is a, it's kind of a dry beer. It's kind of like, it reminds me of drinking like a really dry red wine. Not, I mean, I'm not a big fan of these kinds of beers, but, and, but to be fair, this is really only the first one that I've had if, if you don't count that Sam Adams. It's, you know, it's fairly sweet, um, but it's also, pretty dry. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of like a, a dry red wine. That might be from the alcohol, I don't know. Um, I'm not getting a lot of bitterness out of this. I think this beer is like a an acquired taste. Because, I mean, like, you know, I like it. It's pretty tasty. But, uh, I thought it was going to be better than this. So, you know, it's good. I can drink it. I'll have to drink it again. Uh, so, the best I can give it, uh, I'm going to give a B to Paul Anner Salvatore. Now, is it Paul Anner or Paul Anner? If anyone knows, please leave a, leave a comment down there. So, anyways, um, I guess that does it for this review. So, like I said, a B for Paul Anner Salvatore. And uh, thanks for watching, 
and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer reviews. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. 